my friend and colleague Duncan Huggett, who has died aged 52 of a brain tumor, kept his love of the natural world to the fore in his work with the RSPB, the Environment Agency and the Marine Conservation Society. At the Environment Agency he was the man people turned to when flood risk management ran into conflict with conservation, and his work there was fundamental in establishing a solid scientific base for future investments in natural flood management. At the RSPB, and later with the Marine Conservation Society, he helped to pioneer the concept of an ecosystem-based approach to inshore fisheries management and put forward his own practical model for coastal zone management. He promoted a key innovation in the 1995 Environment Act that gave sea fisheries committees by lawmaking powers to control fishing for environmental reasons. He also developed a close working relationship with stakeholders at all levels, from bait diggers to civil servants and industrialists, even government ministers for these occasions he took out his earring. Duncan was born in Rochdale to David, a Baptist minister, and Sylvia E. Clarkson, a teacher. He went to Lim Grammar School and Paget Technical College, both near Warrington, then on to Leeds University, where he gained a first-class degree in ecology in 1986 and followed up with a Ph.D. based on a thesis about the ecology of the pied flycatcher. Following his Ph.D. he joined the RSPB, working his way through a number of part-time and temporary contracts working on estuary birds. His diligence and capacity for analysis was soon recognized, and in 1991 he took a permanent role in the RSPB's Conservation Policy Department, where I was his manager. There he established himself as someone who could grapple successfully with the detail and complexity of wildlife law and learn the details of any economic sector that was thrown at him. He became a significant intellectual force behind many RSPB campaigns of the 1990s. In 2004 he left the RSPB to join the Environment Agency, where he helped to implement complex European Union environmental directives. He also took on the additional role of flood warning duty officer, learning the skills of flood prediction and analysis, and their application in flood warning and emergency response. From 2005 to 2015 he was a trustee on the board of the Marine Conservation Society. Duncan's zest for life away from work was equally great motorbikes and bits on the kitchen table, a Civil War reenactment cannon under the stairs, rescue dog taming and prodigious homemade wine production. In recent years he and his wife, Mandy, whom he had met in Leeds, had acquired a small holding, and this had become their long-term project. He is survived by Mandy Nee Fleming, whom he married earlier this year, his parents, and his siblings, Alastair, Jeremy, and Sharon.